Hey guys, how you doing? King Super Ben here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see, we are on Portal 2. So, yep, this is a new series that I'm going to dedicate to my channel. And today we are back on the Spooky series. Yes, I am uploading daily, like I said. So we're going to start a new game and start from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 10. So today we'll just be doing chapter 1, so let's begin. And if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're quite close to 300 subscribers, so if all of you want to reach that milestone, then go for it. So we'll just wait for the game to load. I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. Yes, I have played it, by the way. I'm pretty good at it. Recording. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must okay, be we're in. for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I didn't know what to do with this, but this uh, you just stand the there. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... And there's Wheatley. Yeah, but you don't really hang on to all. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, nice but one. Don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. There you go. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, what should tell me anything? Why should I be getting bored? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? I'm not going to make it through, but not enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through. If you want, like and subscribe if you want me to, like, do no clipping and that and explore, like, secrets of this game. Do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here? Okay, listen, 
we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Now you can just go down, but let's just see what he wants to say. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah, this is from Portal 1. And do expect Portal 1 videos during this spooky series as well. Due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance, beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. And we're finally in. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. We've got first bit completed. And comment down below if in the future you want me to do the co-op levels as well. Oh wait. Ah. Not what to do. Go in this one first. Get the cube. And this one. I'm gonna say. And that one. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering the relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Bosh down here. And that's the portal gun. Paperwork. 
This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz. I remember this one. Give it three, two, one. Related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. And guys, I've had a thought as well. Like, if you want me to get a green screen for the back here. Because I'm really considering it. currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. This one. Oh god, I haven't played this game in god knows how long. Ah. I think I remember it now. Ah, I know what to do. Stop that. Give me. Well, there we go. Uh, the enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All amateur science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> and if you are an employee who has discovered this facility of the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. We fly on over to there. Centered. Try it again. There we go. Good work getting this far, future star. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Hi, hi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, hey, back away, Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes. In the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never never ever to disengage myself from my management rail or i would die but we're out of options here so get ready to catch me i didn't watch this much of a catch him. i'm not dead the moment i pop off this thing on three ready one two three that's high it's it's too high isn't it really that 
All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! See? Caught him. That's close. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Look at that Romania. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her back in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't believe it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Spoiler alert, it's, it's me. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You think that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's... Ah! I'm just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I just looked again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at it. We'll look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tail, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God is quoting God. Oh, yeah. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. Whoa. Stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. I'm pretty sure that it's chapter one. So I'll just wait for it to load. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of 
I don't think we're quite done yet, actually. Okay, there we go, that's chapter one complete. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self test complete, Oh, good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, okay then. But that will be next time, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.